fast life, the fast living. Fast living. They see the ambition, they know I'm fast driven. <laughs> Look, we are not the same, this is not a game. So, welcome back to the channel. OP Audits here. And uh, today, today I'm in Oswald Street again. And I'm at a company called Arla Foods. And I'm just looking it up now because there's an interesting article in the uh, local paper, the Shropshire Star. And dairy giant Arla investing in Oswald Street site as part of a 72 million pound drive. The farmer owned dairy cooperative, Arla Foods, has announced plans to invest almost half a billion pounds in 2018, including at its packing facility in Ossestry. And that's where we're at today, guys. Arla Foods. Let's go and have a look. Yeah, so Arla Foods, Oswestry. £72 million pound investment. Crikey. It's a lot of money. So yeah, Arla Foods. So these guys uh, do all of the, um, the yogurts and that sort of stuff, the cheeses, the milks. Uh, this is the Oswestry site. And... We've got persons and vehicles entering the site liable to be searched. No smoking beyond this site. So yeah, this looks like the rear rear of the entrance. Um, it's a massive place. Attention, private land, no public right of way or trespass in. Um, CCTV in operation. Yeah. Please wait until gate is fully open before driving through. Do not drive through when closing or half open. So, what have we got here? So, Arla Foods. Goods in, bay one, bay two, bay four, bay three. High visibility jackets must be worn. So all the usual signs, speed camera, maximum speed limit, workplace transport safety rules, high vis, that sort of thing. And they've got the different countries as well, different languages. So yeah, all good. All good. We've got a lorry coming in. So I presume that that gate's going to open now to let him in. So as it says online, it's owned by the farmers, this one. Got a bit of CCTV up there monitoring us as we stood on the public footpath. Is that a slow gate or is it just me? So in he goes. He will remain out here, he's got his hazards on. Good to see. Yeah, so are the foods owned by the farmers although I don't know how much of that is is given to the farmers I don't know I haven't even looked into it but um, I wanted to visit it because it's such a big site as I say that newspaper article is from 2018 but um, 72 million no can't be. It's a huge amount. So we'll have a little wander around the other side and see what we can see. We have got uh, a sign that tells us visitors are this way. So 
So we'll have a little wander. See what we can see. As you can see, it's quite a big site, big building. Let's see if we can ask anybody what they, what it is they actually do here. But I know they produce sort of dairy products and that sort of thing. Just not sure how much of that money goes to the. Uh, to the farmers, although that gate there is open. I'm pretty sure that should have a lock on it. But yeah. Private land. So the sign clearly says private, so I won't go on the grass. Uh, we'll behave ourselves. Yeah, we'll have a little wander around. Doo -doo -doo. So, we've got a walkway here that takes us across the road, but that's to a gate, and there isn't a footpath on there. Um, obviously, the sign did point to reception being this way. So we'll stick to the side of the road. Beware of the lorries coming in. Let's see if we can get to reception. Although this doesn't look as if it is reception. This just looks like an additional car park, I think. It does say reception over this way, so we'll have a little wander. To see what we can see. Warning. Automatic gate. Oh, okay. There is actually somebody going to be coming out of there now. So we'll we'll go back down this way. As that just looks like a car park. Whereas I think reception must be over here. Mm -hmm. We'll just wait for this car to go past. Oh, it's quite a big site though. So that's just an additional car park up there. There's nothing really interesting to see. There's an automatic gate um, with somebody coming out. So there's a footpath the other side. It's all well kept as well around here. Very nice. There's a padlock on there to keep us out. Again, private land, no public right away, or trespassing. Well, that's obviously past the gate. But we'll see if there's a code to pop in to let them know. Ah, there we go. So, welcome to Oswestry, the home of cheese packing. Okay, so it's all to do with cheeses then. Oh, it's a big factory for just cheese. Please leave packages in parcel box. Thank you. Uh, engineering stores. Please use buzzer provided. Alternatively, contact. Ah. So that buzzer looks like it's for the stores. Let's see if we can get in contact with reception. So, uh, no one answering at the minute. Well. Mm. Um. 
Hi mate, you okay? Good, yeah, just hoping to get in touch with reception. Yeah, can I ask you to say? Uh, no, no one. I'm, I'm just to let them know I was going to put a drone up and I just wanted to let them know so if they see anyone stood outside, um, that's me. <laughs> so you're here to put a drone? Yeah, just take some footage, some aerial footage and just doing a little story on Isle of Foods just for YouTube. Right, I will, I'll see if I can get somebody to come in. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. It's just, I'm going to go back out on public land, so I'm just, because this, uh, this is private, I think, I'm just going to go out on public land, put a drone up, and just to get some aerial footage and of the plant, that's all. Okay, cheers, mate. So there we see, so cheese packing, guys. That's a massive factory for that. Got some gentleman down there doing some sort of drainage work. Some sort of uh, block drains. Yeah, so the guy come out. Um, I was just trying to get hold of reception, but nobody was answering, but the chap's come out now. And um, so going by what it says online, uh, I'm guessing this is like the just all packing. I don't think they do any processing here or anything like that. Um, but it actually looks like they've got their own. Um, I thought that was a subcontractor, but they're actually all wearing Arla jackets, those guys down there. So they must have their own. Um, their own sort of like on team on-site maintenance team, you know. But there we are. What's it say up here? So, uh, it does say on the sign reception, um, but there isn't actually any way to get to reception. It just says private property, which is okay, that's fine. Um, We'll, we'll remain on uh, on public land to do the drone, but um, yeah, I'll read a bit more into it. Try and give you a bit more info, but um, I'll have another look up here just to see the see that car park area. So we got CCTV there. Monitoring our every move. <laughs> Five mile an hour. This is like an overspill. Why is that blue? I don't know why that's blue. More CCTV. Goodness me. I don't know whether this type of place gets a lot of um, attention from protesters or, you know, stuff like that. But yeah, so that's a that's an additional car park there, yeah, which is quite big. But it's all automatic opening for cars. It goes back quite far over there. Ah, yeah, it's cool. Anyway, we'll go back on the footpath, pop the drone up, and see what we can see from above. But it's interesting, because uh, <laughs> this place is um, massive, really. It'll be interesting to see that. Hi, mate, you're right. Sorry, I can't, can't hear you. What's that, sorry? Says this is private land here. Yeah, oh, this is here, is it? Yeah, oh, okay, the mate. Pavement, that is public property, you can do what you like out there. Okay, if you wouldn't mind going on the pavement, that's cool. that's absolutely fine. I was just letting you know, I was just going to put the drone up. It's just, yeah, just for YouTube, do a bit of footage, that's that sort of thing. Fine. If you wouldn't mind going on to the pavement, yeah, at least. just before I go, 
Was this £72 million pound to build? No. It wasn't that much, was it? I was just looking on the, reading on the in the Shropshire Star and it said it was uh, an investment of £72 million. I don't know what you're referring no. to. Sorry, no. Oh, you right. want me to okay. the payment for me, don't Yeah, you? that's fine. Is it is it just cheese you do? Just like packaging you cheese? You the payment. Everything you can get want in terms of information is on the internet. You'll so get it from them. Okay? All right, no problem. Will do. Just for your own safety, on the payment, please. Yeah, will do. Cheers, thanks for coming. Thank you. Yeah, so this is private land, guys, so... We'll go back out on the pavement and pop the drone up and uh, get some footage from above. But yeah, it's pretty interesting, guys. It uh, goes all the way down the bottom there. Not sure how far back it goes, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll pop on the pavement and um, put the drone up from there because the chap did confirm that that is indeed private land in there, actually the car park area, not, not just the behind the behind the gates but we'll go down this way and we'll pop the drone up and see what we can see oh, he was polite enough he just said it's private property there which is fine we don't have an issue with that I wasn't sure actually if it was that part of the road or not but he did confirm it was so no problem so I'm going to walk down here and put the drone up from the public footpath and um, I was going to say I'm going to put Bob up because <laughs> my other half has nicknamed my drone Bob after Bob uh, Bob Mortimer from Gone Fishing and uh, I don't know why she just said are you taking Bob? Are you taking Bob out? I was like why do you keep calling it Bob? So she said after Bob Mortimer which I feel bad actually for, uh, I feel bad for Paul because I love that program, it's so funny and uh, but Bob is an absolute legend I love them both actually, I think they're great Bob's like the child, you know, in the relationship and uh, Paul is like the grumpy I wouldn't like, I don't think he'd like us to call him grumpy but he is the grumpy one so, so guys, the drone is called Bob um, and I haven't thought of a name for it in terms of the acronym so B-O-B, -B, what can I name the drone? It's called Bob. What could Bob stand for, guys? If you are watching this and you are interested, uh, pop it in the comments, let me know, and uh, tell me what you think. Um, but yeah, we'll put this camera away now, and then we'll get the drone up and see what we can see with Bob. So as always, guys, we'll have a quick look on here. Drone assist. It's the area we're in. So there's no uh, flight restrictions in this area, so we're good to go. So let's pop Bob up. So, Ara Foods. So get up guys, nice and high. Have a little look. Looks like they've got some works being done actually on the roof. But just to give you an idea of the size, guys, um, you can see it's a fairly big place. Um, cheese packaging. We'll go up a little bit higher, guys, and have a little look over the roof to see what they're doing so it looks like there's some sort of repairs going on so interestingly it doesn't look like he's secured onto the roof um, I can't see from here, but uh, I can't see anything there in terms of being secured, which is interesting. I would have thought that he'd need to be secured on top of there. Um, but we'll have a little look over here. They got the scaffolding up, got the platform, which is good to see.
Not sure what's going on there. Got some lorries here. Ready to be loaded. Looks like fence repairs going on around the back there. And a couple of guys having a chat to the forklift truck driver. Uh, seating area, which is nice. In the trees, I bet that's nice in the summer. Is that cows? Oh right, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. That's a lovely seating area there, look. Shelter as well. Plants. That's nice, isn't it? All the pallets neatly stacked as well. Which is good to see, everything's very tidy. They sort of dug out that area there for the gas which is all cordoned off as well I like this little area they've got, this little garden area is really really nice got a bit of green space as well uh, and that there is all the refrigeration and the cooling Again, not sure what they're doing. But they don't look they don't look as if they're harnessed in. Which is strange. Because I would have thought they should be on the roof. So it looks like they're repairing something there. I'm not sure what. No, but they're definitely not harnessed in, look. Hmm. Interesting, eh? I'm interested to know what that is. Well, that is there that had the door open. Ah, uh, they shut the door now. Oh, I think that that's to do with the um, the drainage equipment they were using on site, like a little storage yard. I would think. Hmm. But it's a shame I couldn't actually get to reception to have a chat. I only wanted to find out what they were doing. And whether it was actually just packing or whether they do the processing here as well. As I say, I just I just saw the article and uh I've obviously seen the the factory a couple of times. But um yeah, it's good. Good to see everything's all very clean and tidy. Um Gardens are kept nice, they've got a lovely seating area out the back as well for the staff, which is really good to see. Yeah. So there's some workmen there. Just at the bottom. And then there's like a lovely little storage yard over here. Well, I'm not really sure what that is, so we'll have a little look. Solar panel on the roof. So 
so that's just like again another little storage facility by the looks of things but i'm just not too sure why it's got a solar panel looks like a couple of old lockers or something and then like just a, a waste area there but um it's in a really nice place it's it's surrounded by trees and a field so let's get up high as I say interesting to see people working on the roof without their PPE but uh, I'm guessing they've done their own risk assessments for that Who knows, eh? So there's goods in. See if we can see the name on that lorry. GRO Continental. So, not sure what goods come in here. Maybe, maybe the cheeses themselves come in here to be packaged. I think this might just be a packaging area to be fair a packaging plant um, but he didn't want to tell me he didn't want to tell me whether they manufacture here or not but he just wanted to say it was private land which is fair enough so we've got a lorry coming out now I oh know, is he going to hook up to that wagon maybe? Yep. Yeah, so he's hooking up now. I'm assuming that one's fully loaded. So there we go guys, that's Isle of Foods, Oswestry, Shropshire. Hope you enjoyed that one. And I hope you've been thinking of a name for Bob, the acronym BOB. What can it stand for? Blame the girlfriend for that one. Named it after Bob Mortimer from Gone Fishing. And would I lie to you? Because he is an absolute legend. So is Paul. But um, yeah. Right guys, we're going to wrap this one up and bring the drone down. And uh, we'll finish off. More in logistics. Off he goes. Full of cheese. Good stuff. So guys, that's Isla Foods, Oswestry. Hope you enjoyed that one. We did come back onto the public land, put the drone up and uh, got some good footage, especially of the roof being repaired. Anyway guys, cheers for watching another episode of OP Audits. I'll see you soon. Oh, the fast life, the fast living. They see the ambition, they know I'm past drift. Look, we are not the same, this is not a game.